prayer that makes God smile. It's never too soon to lead a child to Jesus. Stormy Omerton. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. Matthew 19 verse 14. You make God happy. That's because he loves you. God loves all little boys and girls. He loves you when you do good things, like helping others. But he also loves you even when you do things that are not so good, like forgetting to put away your toys. God loves you when you are happy, and he loves you when you are sad. God loves you when you are sleeping, and he loves you when you are awake. There is never a time when God does not love you. Thank you, God, for loving me all the time. God shows his love for you by giving you good food to eat, clean water to drink, and a warm, cozy place to live. He also shows his love by giving you the rain and the sun, the flowers and the trees, and admirable animals like puppies and kittens to enjoy. One of the most wonderful ways God shows his love for you is by giving you a family. Some families are big and some are small. Your family might have 10 people in it or it might just be a family of two. Yet, every family is a gift from God. When we thank God for our families and for all the gifts he gives us, it makes him happy. Thank you, God, for my family and for all the other gifts you give to me. Another way God shows his love for you is by giving you his word to read. When you read the Bible, it makes God happy happy that's because the bible teaches you how to know and obey god and how to do what is right god gives us rules to live by because he loves us and doesn't want us to get hurt when you obey god's rules and do what is right god is happy thank you god for giving me the bible to read Help me to obey your rules. God loves you so much that he always listens to you when you talk to him. Talking to God is called praying. He loves it when you talk to him. Your prayers make God happy. God always wants you to ask him for the things you need. He already knows what you need. But he still wants you to talk to him about it. That's because he loves you and wants you to spend time with him. God is happy when you ask him for the things you need. God also wants you to ask him for the things you want. There's a difference between the things you want and the things you need. The things you need are what you must have. In order to live, like a home, clothes to wear, or something to take when you are sick that will help you get well. The things you want are the things you don't have in order to live, but you want them anyway. Like a bicycle to ride, a fun game, or a new friend to play ball with. God always give us what we need, but he doesn't always give us what we want. That's because God knows what is best for us. He gets to decide if he will give us what we want or not. And he decides when to give it to us. We can trust him to do the right thing for us because he loves us so much. Thank you, God, for giving me everything I need. Thank you for giving me the things I want that are good for me. It makes God happy to hear all your purrs. But there is one purr that God loves the most. 
And that is the prayer you pray when you ask God to come into your heart. This is the prayer that makes God smile. God loves you so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to earth to save you. That's why he is called your savior. He saves you from ever having to be separated from God. When you receive Jesus, it means that someday you will go to heaven and live with God. Jesus said that the only way to get to heaven is by receiving him into your hearts first. We can't find the way without Jesus. Heaven is a wonderful place. In heaven, you will never get sick and you will never be hurt. In heaven, there are no bad people and nothing scary ever happens. That means you won't ever be afraid or sad. In heaven, you will be happy all the time. God wants you to be in heaven with him one day. That's why he sent Jesus to help you get there. But Jesus doesn't just help you to get to heaven. He helps you in every way here on earth. He helps you by being with you all of the time. He helps you by listening to you and answering your prayers. Jesus helps you by giving you everything you need. He helps you by being with you when you are sick and comforting you when you get hurt. That's why Jesus is God's greatest gift to all of us. Jesus is the most important name in the world. Once you invite Jesus into your heart, you can call his name and he will be right there beside you. You can't see the air, but you know it is there because you are breathing it. You can't see Jesus, but you know he is there because he promised to be with you forever and he never breaks his promise. Just as the air is always there keeping you alive, Jesus is always there giving you life too. Dear Jesus, thank you that you will always be with me. When you pray to receive Jesus into your heart, you become one of God's special kids. He is your friend forever. And you can talk to him whenever you want. If something goes wrong, you can tell him about it and he will help you. If you feel sad, you can share that with him and he will help you feel happy again. And when you are having a good day, he will help you do things for other people that make them feel good too. Jesus said that those who believe in him will have their names written in a big book in heaven called the book of life. He said we should be very happy about it. When you receive Jesus into your heart, your name will be written in that big book too. You get to make choices every day. You choose which toy to play with or which story to read. You choose the words you speak and many of the things you do. Receiving Jesus into your heart is also a choice you get to make. Jesus wants you to choose to receive him. You get to decide when and where. When you are ready to receive Jesus into your heart, you can say the prayer on the next page. You only have to say it once if you really mean it. After you pray this prayer, write your name on the line below and put in the date. That way you will always remember when you said the prayer that makes God smile. And it will remind you that your name is written in God's big book in heaven. My prayer to receive Jesus. Dear Jesus, I believe you are God's son. Please come into my heart to live. Forgive me for anything I have ever done wrong. 
Thank you that someday I will live in heaven with you. Thank you that you love me and will always take care of me. I love you too. My name is... I said this per and meant it on this day and this year. Once you have said this per, you don't ever need to say it again. You can if you want to, but you don't have to because God has heard it and Jesus has come into your heart. But there is another prayer that God loves to hear you pray. And you can say it every day if you would like to. It is a prayer on the next page. And every time you pray it, it makes God happy. My prayer to tell Jesus I love him. Dear Lord, thank you for saving me and protecting me. Thank you that you will always forgive me for anything I do wrong. Thank you that someday I will live forever in heaven with you. Thank you for loving me. I love you too. The Bible says that every time someone receives Jesus as their savior, God's angels in heaven are very happy. They are happy because God is happy. People, happy people smile, and that makes others around them smile. If God and his angels are smiling, this must mean that the sun and the clouds and the flowers and the birds and the turtles and the rest of the animals are smiling too. And this means that the angels in heaven and all of God's creation on earth are smiling when you pray the prayer that makes God smile. Thank you, God, that you are always smiling down on me.